Hello everyone. Today's video is making a fanny pack. Follow along step by step and you can also customize the size you like. The detailed configuration is in the description box. Let's get started. Draw a 7 by 5 inches rectangle. Round the corners. You need two mains, two linings, and two inner facings if the main fabric isn't thick. Mark the zipper position 1.5 inches from the top. Measure here to there. This is the top part of the fanny pack. Mine is 9.5 inches. Let's draw the top panel. Draw a 1 inch wide by 9.5 inches rectangle. You need two mains, two linings, and two inner facings. Measure the circumference of the lower part of the zipper mark. This is the bottom part of the fanny pack. Mine is 13.5 inches. Draw the bottom panel 2 inch wide by 13 and a half inches. You need one main, one lining, and one inner facing. Cut the main panel and draw along the bottom of the zipper mark. It's gonna be a front pocket. You need one main, one lining, and one inner facing. Draw a 2 inches by 1.5 inches rectangle and connect diagonally to the left corner. Right here, half inches from the bottom corner. You need 4 mains and 4 inner facings. So, you will need fabric for the main, top, bottom, front pocket, side band. I've already attached fusible interfacing behind the every main panel. And also need strap, bias tape, zipper at least over 10 inches long, buckles, an inner pocket and a zipper for optional. This is how to make a zipper pocket. Click the top right of it. Let's do the front pocket first. Sew the main and the lining panel right sides together and top stitches. Place the front panel on the front main panel and sew around the edge. There are two ways to sew a zipper. Place the zipper face up and the top panel face down and sew together. Don't forget to change the zipper foot And then, place the right side of the top lining on the back of the zipper and sew. When finished, fold the main and lining outward and do top stitch them together. In another way, Insert the zipper between the main and the lining. And sew at the same time. Fold the main and the lining outward and 
to top stitch them together. Cut the excess part. And sew all along the edge for each design. This time is the bottom part. Sew the bottom and the lining right sides together with the top part in between. When finish it, turn the main out. And do top stitch together. And also do loosen stitch around the edge for each sign. This is the strap. About the length, it depends on how to wear a penny pack, like worn around the waist or across the chest. I think two and a half to three inches wide by three times of waist circumference would be fine. If there is an excess part, you can cut it later. For the both sides by half inches. In my case, I fold it by quarter inches each. And then fold it in the middle and sew both edges. We are gonna make a one inch wide strap. Cut your strap seven to nine inches first. Insert the strap between the side bands. Center them. So, cut the excess seam Turn the right side out and top stitch around the edge. Do the same for the other strap. Mark one inch from the top of the back panel. Attach the strap to the back panel. Attach the top and bottom to the front panel. Match each center and pin around the edge. Sewing will be easier if you cut or notch the straight parts that meet the curved part of the main panel. such as the corners. Wrap the seam allowance with a bias tape. and sew along the edge.
put the front and back panels together. Insert the straps. Open the zipper and sew. Don't forget giving notches or cut the straight parts that meet the curved part. Wrap the seam allowance with the bias tape and sew around the edge. Adjust the length to your body. Cut it if long. You can make any other size you want. Thank you for watching.